Hey, what's going on guys? I know you want to start being able to turn images into videos, turning things like this into this every single time. And now with Stable Diffusion, you can make it happen and it'll be in your control. So follow me. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your man Chukubu Ikem. And today we're here talking about Stable Video Diffusion. And if this ends up being a service to you, please help a brother out and give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more AI content, because that's what I'm here to give to you. So now we're here on replicate.com, which is where you'll be able to try Stable Video Diffusion. And right out the gate, they actually give you a nice example of a rocket going up which is really really cool but we have our own pictures that we're going to run and i highly highly recommend that you guys come to this website because it is an incredible introduction to stable video diffusion and how it works and i'll show you why it's like that in a second but i'm going to first upload my own image so that you guys can see a little bit of what we're talking about so now we have a picture of a pretty nice car and we're going to run this bad boy and one of the beautiful things about replicate ai is that well it's on the internet which means that you won't have to worry about the hardware issues that many of us deal with, even I. You know, if you don't have a lot of VRAM, if you don't have a lot of space, if you don't have a lot of CPU, you know, I mean, then you just don't have the computing power to do a lot of this stuff effectively or efficiently. But you don't need to worry about that because Replicate AI handles all that for you. So having an online version like this is a pretty big steal. So wow, look at that. Look at that. This is actually a really good output. I like this a lot. You know, it really does look like the car is going forward. In fact, it kind of looks like the car is like speeding, which is really, really impressive. You'll notice that Video Diffusion does on average better when it's something less complex, meaning that it's kind of like an object that doesn't do too much movement. But if you use like a boy running, you'll see pretty quickly the challenge that that AI is gonna have trying to juggle the arms, the legs, the head, the like, and mind you, there's no background here. So all it has to focus on is the body movement, but you'll see uh, really quickly kind of the, the issues that AI is gonna deal with in a second. So you see now, it, it, it did its best. It's not that the running motion is terrible. The money motion is kind of there, but then you see it kind of gets a little glitchy and things of that nature. But the beauty is that you can scroll down here and this is why I highly recommend you guys try this out. You can always change the amount of frames per second getting used. So let's say I change this to like 25 frames per second and the motion bucket, see the motion bucket is how much motion do you want from the picture? So it's a running motion. I'm gonna put it at 20 at 255, basically the max. And let's put the frames at 25 frames, right? So that it will get a more smoother image. And let's let's hope let's hopefully we get something better. And you can play around with this all day long. This is a really great place for a beginner to become very friendly with what stable video diffusion is and what it can be. So now we went and put the motion at like <laughs> at the max. You know, we gave it more frames and so I think I like this better because it looks like it's actually moving forward. It kind of looks like, I don't know, I like it better, but you see we got a different output with a different, with a whole different vibe to it as well. So definitely take some time to tweak all of these and you'll be very surprised with what you get. And you know, you might like it or you might hate it, but it'll be something different and you'll learn. As good as this is, Let's head over to Comfy UI where you could really run stable video diffusion and get some much better results. Okay, so right here is the workflow that you would need to download and then load up into your Comfy UI to be able to get the workflow that I'm using in order to get stable video diffusion. Shouts out to Olivio Sarikas and Enigmatic E. These are the guys I actually got this workflow from. Uh, Olivio got it from Enigmatic and I got it from the two of them. So shouts out to those guys. Go check out their channels and show them some love. Like this AI community, we gotta stick together and grow because here's the workflow. Like this is really awesome. Now I did have to modify this workflow to get it to work for me because everyone's system is a little different and I had a memory and VRAM issue which caused me to have to get rid of one of the nodes. And the link will be in the description for the regular Google Drive that has this workflow and also a picture that I made that you can go and take and then put into your project so that you can get my workflow that's made more for low VRAM and memory users. So both will be available for you. Definitely experiment which one works better for you. And all you're going to do to be able to do that is that you're gonna come into Comfy UI, you're gonna click load. Then you're going to go to wherever it downloaded to, which is typically downloads folder. You go to downloads and then you're gonna take this JSON file and open it up in Comfy UI and you'll end up 
with what we have here. Or if you don't want to do that, you'd come to where you have the, uh, the animated diff that I gave you guys. And then you could just drag and drop it onto the canvas and then boom you have the exact same workflow that i had to create in order to get this to run oh and guys i forgot to say when you load it up the first time it's going to look like this a whole bunch of red spaces because there is missing nodes so you're going to have to install the missing nodes which is what i'll cover now and now that you have the workflow many of you are going to need to install the missing models so remember you're going to need comfy ui manager and if you don't have comfy ui manager yeah i did make a video on how to get comfy ui manager so you can always go back to that video and what happen is that you would come to comfy UI manager and install missing custom nodes now you would see a list like what I'm seeing right here and you're just going to click and install each single one once you've clicked and installed each single one you're going to restart comfy UI and then boom you're going to have your workflow ready to go and so now that we have this workflow we can start comparing what actual stable video diffusion will do versus what replicates version of stable video diffusion will do so let's try with the running boy again we're going to plug it in cue the prompt and see what we get yeah okay yeah i do like that i do like that a lot this boy looks more realistic running than the other one did as you saw the other one was kind of glitchy it was a little all over the place we are not having that same issue here we have a, a pretty good running boy so I'll also, I'll also put it side by side to what we get so side by side i'm sure you guys can see which one is the better one but now let's try the car let's see what we get with the car yep i do like the car as well in fact the car first off both cars look pretty nice like let's be honest Either one could really work, and it does show more of what Stable Video Diffusion is currently more regulated for, which is kind of like an object, not doing too much movement, you know, kind of like a, uh, a stable, predictable background. Yeah, so it does work best in this um, way. But I would have to say the Comfy UI version looks more detailed. The colors are more clear and crisp and bright. I mean, the movement looks more natural. Even look at what Comfy UI does with the light. I mean, the sun, the shadows are going in and out because of the forest trees in the background the sun comes in and out whereas replicate is a little bit more slow and standard and not as dynamic as comfy UI's version comfy UI's version looks more realistic so i gotta give it a comfy UI on that one but both are still pretty good i couldn't really be mad with either result but definitely the comfy UI version has my heart i like what we have here now let's check out what it will do for like a face so here i have this pretty anime black girl here and replicate well it added movement to it but the movement, it felt more like a zoom in rather than it did movement. Like, I guess it would, it might feel like she was walking towards you to some degree, but it didn't really feel like movement. It felt more like a zoom in. Um, so now let's see what comfy wise stable video diffusion will do. And yeah, much better, like much, much better. It looks like she goes like to mean, like, you know, it's like, who are you? Like, it kind of has like a, a meanish kind of like sexy look, which is wonderful. Like, this is exactly what we're talking about. So it really felt like movement. It felt like character movement rather than camera movement, which is completely different and much more exciting. So definitely, definitely, definitely you know get on the comfy ui wave learn how to use these nodes learn to create something on your own on your own machine or if you're not on your machine you can also try using the cloud which i'll be making a video about very soon so again make sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the latest ai content and hey your boy chukubuikem is here to help have a great day man appreciate it